There's actor Matt Damon trying to figure out what actor to be Tiffany Michelle has. They both checked the flop. Now we're on the turn. There's those damn diamonds again. It's interesting because you probably flopped the set. I got to But they've each checked the turn. Ooh, it's the second prettiest card in the deck, the Queen of Hearts on the river. But now you have your top pair, right? Because you have ace queen. I have my top pair, but it is a show like that. The dame has him flummoxed a bit. You probably have this done. You're trying to like reverse psychologize things. Matt bets 3,000. Uh, I call. And a call from Tiffany. Ace high for Matt. Pocket sevens for Tiffany Michelle. And Tiffany will take Matt's chips there. Well, I doubt that's going to help Tiffany get a part in Matt's next movie. Right now at our feature table, we have a very special connection between Hollywood and poker. There is Matt Damon, star of the 1998 poker film Rounders. In that movie, Matt's character is fascinated by a clip of the 1988 main event in which Eric Seidel loses heads up to Johnny Chan. And Ben Affleck, Matt Damon's good friend, has come over to check on his buddy. Ben has zero chips, done in by Jen Harmon. 40. Doesn't he have a beautiful wife and family to go home to? How long have you guys known each other, you and Ben? Oh, man. Uh, met him when I was 10 and he was 8. So let's see, I'm 38, so that's 28 years ago. But high school was when we really started hanging out. Geez, Lon, we met when you were 40 and I was 16, but we really didn't start hanging out until I got the job as the pool boy at your health club. And I cannot get rid of you. <laughs> All right, the blinds, they are increasing very quickly, 12 and 2400 on the Jack Link's Beef Jerky Pocket Cam. I love beef jerky. Emre Mex with Ace Deuce of Hearts, he limps in. He's unaware of my campaign this year, there's no place for an ace. Scott Wilson. I'll call. Also with an ace, ace eight. Another poor soul who doesn't understand the, the evils of an ace. He limps in. Matt Damon with 10 6 in the small blind. I call. Oh, uh, a creative call, I guess we can call that. He gets half price. Ben, what are you still doing here? Jennifer Garner's waiting for you at home. <laughs> Next in line, Eric Seidel. I check. In the big blind, he checks his option with King 9. Four to the flop. Anybody's ball game right now. The flop is. 10, 10, 6. That's a movie star flop for Matt Damon. <laughs> Damon got a jolt from that flop, but he's trying to act casual. Damon checked after flopping the nuts. Seidel checks. Matt hoping someone will bet. Look at the percentages. Nobody wants to bet. Full house for Matt Damon. Turn card is an 8. That 8 did pair Wilson, but Damon gets the check mark. Matt checks again, as does Seidel and Mex. Damon sitting on it again. He really did study that video where Johnny Chan flopped a straight and trapped 64. Eric Seidel. Wilson, who paired his eight, bet 6,400 chips. Matt's got one fish on the hook. A Hollywood star with some pretty bad acting here. Actually reminds me of Ben in Jersey Girl. <laughs> I'll call. He made it look tough, but he does make the call. Yeah, he made it look like an uncertain call. He is an actor. Seidel folded. Mex gets out of the way. Wilson and Damon heads up. Damon with a check mark. He's got the nuts. A deuce on the river. Oh, I think it's time for Matt Damon to pull the trigger. Check. Ooh, slow plays again. I might have bet there. Matt hoping that Wilson bets again. I'll check. But he checks. Unfortunate for Matt. Too fair. Nope, I got it. Thought you might have bet it. Yeah, missed opportunity for Damon. Could have walked into some trouble there, I guess. It was a good movie. You assumed I would bet. I didn't, didn't bet it, man. Smell the rat. Nice. He knows Hollywood is uh, full of rats. Matt Damon's been running good so far in this event. Poor guy's got nowhere to go. Sure, Matt makes millions for every film he does, but here at the World Series of Poker, if you want to get paid, you just can't act the part. You have to play your A game every hand. So action continues in the Rio Poker Room. Only 35 players remain, including a handful of celebrities. As we head over to the feature table, it's time for the Jack Link Speed Jerky Wild Card Hand. We will conceal one player's whole cards, and you at home can play along. All right, Matt Damon looks down at a seven also. right now. The year right. Rounders came out, Matt played in the main event. He was knocked out with pocket kings it's against 10, Doyle 000. Brunson's pocket aces. Good experience, though, huh? I'd love the chance to get knocked out by Doyle. A raise to 10,000, and it is Eric Seidel with the Jack Link's wild card hand. So, Norman, get your thinking cap on. I can't see what he has, though. Oh. He, raise he raises. That'll tell you something. You I'm dominating. calculating what he has. I'll let you know. How much is it, Eric? Action back to Matt. I'm still calculating. 
23-5 to call, huh? Eric had 10 big blinds left and pushed well, all in. Well. He would do that with an ace or any pocket pair. God, what do you have, like ace-jack? That's a pretty good guess. It wouldn't be fair if I told you what I had. <laughs> It'd make my decision a lot easier, though. <laughs> I think Matt's instinct is right. I'm um, going with it. Ace-jack. How do you calculate, like, whether or not it's worth your while to just... <laughs> That's the same question I always have. Can I talk to the guys who like look at the cameras in the truck? Oh, we fired the, the recession. But I'm telling you, it's Ace Jack and you should fold. This is one of those just crappy hands I shouldn't... Oh man, what the hell am I going to do? If what Matt thinks Eric do? has a better Ace or pocket sevens are better, he's folding. Otherwise, he's calling. I got a little Ace. Scary? Can't tell. Not if you have Queens, right? Alright, good bet. I think I would have folded too. I had my lucky hand. What's that? I had my lucky hand. What is it? Yeah, sure, sure. Ah, Eric Seidel with a pocket pair on the Jack Link's Beef Jerky Wild Card in. Now it's wrong again. It's a way of life. Now in that situation, what, I mean, 23 more. Like, what? I mean, is that a good laydown? What do you think? Sixes was right on the right on the border. If I'd known you had sixes, I'm in. I mean, it's one of those hands that like a guy at my level shouldn't be shouldn't be messing around with. I don't want to be making decisions with a hand like that. I think you probably made the right choice. I feel better about myself now, thank you. Yeah, I think it's easier to live with those mistakes when you're good looking. It probably should be Damon trying to make Eric feel better. We know now how good a player Seidel is, but he became the poster boy for failure when the movie Rounders hit the big screen. Back to our featured table and the defending champion in this Andy Up for Africa event, John Hennigan, looks down at Jack three of clubs. He looks like the defending champion. A raise to 11,000. Now Matt Damon. Matt, now he doesn't show his cards. How can these actors keep missing their mark? How can they not know where a camera is? That's what I'm wondering. A call for 9,000 more. Eric Seidel in the big blind. Ace Jack of Hearts. A real hand in the big blind. And he just calls for 7,000 more. This is the exact type of hand I want to be in. <laughs> Sandwiched between these guys. Oh, Seidel's tough, but Hennigan's only got two bracelets. One Oscar versus ten bracelets. Deuce, Trey, ace, top pair for Seidel. Matt Damon. I'm all in. Moves all in. It's 35-5. I'm going to call. And a quick call from Seidel with a pair of aces. Seidel's chance for Rounder's Revenge. I'm not sure who has who covered. You didn't think I had Ace King? <laughs> Hennigan folded. <laughs> and Matt shows pocket tens. He's behind. 30, I'm sorry. 31, 35, 5. We're tied. <laughs> they have the same number of chips. They're both all in. That is fun. Nice playing with the red side. Two tens for Matt. Same, one way or another. Got identical chip sacks, another rounder's battle, and one of them is going home. Looking for a miracle. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Damon all in and behind. Seidel all in and ahead. Turn card is a king. Damon down to his last chance. Nice to lose to you if I'm going to lose to anybody. I felt the same way, actually. I was thinking. Oh, jeez. Why don't these guys just open up an English tea shop together? <laughs> Matt Damon needs a 10 and a 10 only, or he's out of here. River card is a four, and that's going to do it. Matt Damon eliminated from this celebrity event. Nice play with you. Nice playing with you, John. All right, Joe, nice playing with you. See you guys. All right, man. Yeah. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for doing One it. One of the Appreciate last it. celebrities is right. gone, and, and he's a nice fella. Thank you. I'm going to go watch the Born Element. All right, now I can go after World. Eric targeting Johnny <laughs> World Hennigan now. Is that just like yeah. the makeup for him? Destroying your life by showing you repeatedly coming in second on rounders. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. It was a setup by ESPN. Teddy KGB would be proud. Revenge is sweet, and Matt Damon knows he had it coming. We made that incredible hand that he lost to Johnny, so famous in rounders. You know, they, when Johnny flopped the nut straight, that that uh, it's it's nice to. I mean, he he owes me a little abuse. <laughs> it's fair.